Hello friends, I am Dr. Raghunad Reddy. I am a consultant pulmonologist and head of the department at Kim's Sunshine Hospital, Sikandrabad. Uh, today we are going to talk about how the lungs can be kept healthy, what are the causes of lung damage and what measures you have to take to keep the lungs healthy. So the first and foremost thing as everyone knows, the uh, common cause for uh, lung damage is smoking. So smoke in any form. Whether, whether you smoke a cigarette or a BD or a, whether you get exposed to uh, some uh, biomass fuel uh, smoke or the agarbati smoke, any smoke. So exposure to any kind of smoke can cause lung damage. So, but when we say smoke, we always think that it is only smoking cigarettes or BDs cause lung damage. No exposure to any type of smoke will cause lung damage. The second thing that is most important in causing lung damage is obviously air pollution, the particulate matter and other uh, 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 what do you call uh, the elements in the uh, air that can cause lung damage, particularly the radon which is a, a gas released in combustion, it all causes lung damage. The third factor that can cause uh, lung damage is uh, infections, any infections, for example, tuberculosis, tuberculosis infection can cause one, even if it heals with treatment, it causes fibrosis and lung damage. In the same way, any bacterial infections or uh, recently of late we have seen COVID, a lot of COVID infections where uh, the patients developed a severe ARDS. We have seen patients developing post-COVID fibrosis and uh, a little decrease in the lung capacity. The other things that can uh, cause lung damage is poor control of your lung, chronic lung diseases like asthma, COPD, bronchiectasis and other things. So, if you are, if you have a lung problem, you have to keep the lung problem under control, particularly asthma. Asthma is not being taken uh, very seriously by any of the patients. They think asthma is very intermittent and they treat only or they take inhalers or other treatments only when they feel they have breathlessness or when they feel they have wheezing. But the lung capacity goes down without their knowledge and asthma is a chronic disease and the treatment has to be prolonged and under the supervision of a pulmonologist. If that is not done, then obviously the lung capacity goes down. The other causes of uh, lung damage is exposure to coal dust, uh, exposure to uh, silica dust and other uh, uh, the um, particulate matters, particularly in a uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, production or uh, company settings. So this is one of the main causes of occupational uh, lung diseases, which can which can definitely cause uh, lung uh, problem, uh, lung damage. So uh, these are a few causes of uh, lung damage. So how to protect your lungs? How to keep your lungs healthy? The first thing is. Uh, as I told you, you have to quit smoking if you are a smoker or avoid exposure to smoke or avoid exposure to particulate matter. If you are working in an industrial setup, then you need to use the masks uh, that are being designated by the uh, ILO, which have to be used while working in a dusty environment. And uh, you have to uh, uh, protect yourself from uh, exposure to air pollution indoor air pollution and outdoor air pollution. We tend to forget that indoor air pollution is as important as outdoor air pollution. Inside the home, we use all the uh, that agarbatis and uh, different type of uh, smokes at home. So they also cause lung damage. So you have to avoid all these things and also the room sprays and uh, uh, the other mosquito repellents which are being used uh, uh, voraciously nowadays. So they can also cause lung damage, particularly in patients who are asthmatic or who have a, a reactive airway diseases. The second thing is lung exercises, which can help in uh, uh, increasing the lung capacity. The common lung exercises that help in uh, increasing lung capacity are uh, diaphragmatic exercises, what we call as a belly breathing. And uh, other is deep, breath deep breathing exercises that can also help in uh, increasing your lung capacity. The third thing is keeping your lung away from infections. So if you have uh, tuberculosis or if you have any signs of infection, 
you have to consult your doctor immediately and get it treated at a very early stage, first thing. The second is the prevention of lung infection is also very important, which can be done by vaccination. The common vaccines that have to be taken to prevent uh, uh, infections and lung damage are flu vaccines, which have to be taken every year and pneumonia vaccines, which, uh, which can be taken as scheduled like every five years. And uh, there are new vaccines now we have come up for a lifetime vaccines also for pneumonia. So you can take those vaccines according to the advice of the uh, pulmonologist. And uh, the fourth way of keeping your lungs healthy, particularly in, uh, in patients with asthma and COPD is treating your uh, problem uh, regularly. So the asthma inhalers have to be taken regularly, not intermittently when you feel like you have cough or breathlessness and they have to be under the supervision of a pulmonologist.